Hi everyone, I'm Neil Shah, Chief De-Stressing Officer at the Stress Management Society and author of the 10-Step Stress Solution. And as part of our International Wellbeing Wednesday activities, we've been focused on sleep, which is the theme for this year's campaign. We've been working with our friends at Rescue on a, a theme around restfulness and ensure that you understand what you need to maximise your chance of getting a good night's sleep. In the video we made earlier, you would have seen the optimal sleep environment. It's really important for us to understand what is the antithesis of the optimal environment. What is the kind of sleep environment most of us find ourselves in? And for that, we've made another room. Come this way and I'll show you. Do you remember that wonderful, relaxing sleep environment that we had in the earlier video? With Alison nice to chill out and relaxing in that peaceful, serene sanctuary for sleep. Let's see what happens in an environment which is not so conducive to sleep. First thing we notice, the TV's on, staring right at the bed. Now, most of us find ourselves watching TV in the last hour, hour and a half before sleep, exposing ourselves to blue light and stimulating our brains. That electromagnetic frequencies that are emitted from the television are disrupting the way that your body works and you will find that you will struggle to get a good night's sleep. And Laura is in bed. It's almost time for sleep and what is she doing? She's got her laptop out, she's checking her emails, she's on Instagram posting pictures, she's got her iPad out as well. So all of that technology, again, is bombarding her with electromagnetic frequencies, it's stimulating her, uh, it's blue light technology, all of this is really disruptive as part of the wind down routine. And also, Laura seems to be drinking a cup of coffee. Tut tut, Laura. Because caffeine in the last eight hours before sleep is going to disrupt your body's own natural cycles and will prevent you from being able to get a good night's sleep. If you are going to drink coffee, make sure that you stop drinking it at least eight hours before you go to bed. So if you go to bed at 10 o'clock, from two o'clock onwards, non-caffeinated drinks. It's also very bright in here, all the lights are on and that in itself is going to be interfering with the body's ability to start winding down before sleep. So consider this, consider all the things that we've got in this environment which are not conducive for sleep and check out the earlier video if you haven't seen it already for tips on what you can do to create that sanctuary for sleep. Good luck in improving your sleep. Happy International Wellbeing Wednesday.